So if that political scientist did a bad sampling method, we should probably talk about some better ways to sample. And one of the best things you might think is to just get the entire population, right? There's no issues at all there. If she could have just talked to every college student and gotten their information about social, how they felt about Social Security, she would have had the best possible results. So we'll think about one option where this actually is trying to be implemented, and that's the census, right? So if you don't know about the census, every 10 years they send a mailer out um, that ha you have to fill out with a questionnaire about how many people are in the house and all that. Um, and it's a whole, there's a whole bureau, right? So I want you guys to take a moment, brainstorm, and think about what are some drawbacks or limitations to the census. Like always, try pausing the video, um, think about it for a second, and then come back and see if the ideas you came up with align with what my other classes have come up with before. So my other classes, they always get, this is probably the first one people throw out. People lie, right? There's reasons that people might give information on the census. Um, it might be unintentional. They might be on an accident. Maybe they misunderstand a question. Um, they could be doing so on purpose because there are people in the house that shouldn't be or because they're collecting uh, Social Security or something for someone who's not in the house. But there are reasons that people might lie or they're just anti-government. There's a lot of reasons we might get misinformation on the census. It's self-reported, right? So that's a big issue. Probably the biggest problem with the census, and this usually takes a little while before someone throws up. Since it's mailed, anyone without a permanent oops, anyone without a permanent mailing address is left out. So this doesn't just include the homeless population, but like I said, anyone without a permanent mailing address is not included in the census. So our accurate uh, picture of the entire U.S. population is already inaccurate for two reasons. And there are a lot more reasons that we could write here, but the third biggest issue, which is one that students never come up with on their own, is that the census takes a lot of time and a lot of money, right? So that's one of the biggest reasons sampling is done, is that we're spending a whole lot of time and a whole lot of money, and we're still getting inaccurate data, right? So why not take a sample instead, knowing that there might be some inaccuracy, because then we could save a lot of time, a lot of money, and probably get a picture that's no worse than if we did try to get every single person. So when it comes to selecting a sample, uh, usually we start with who do we actually want to know about, right? So if we think about our political scientist, her target was college students. Then you choose a sampling frame, which may or may not completely overlap with your target population. So there's no way to get a list of every college student. So you might have some other way to try to get there. Um, and in her case, she got undergrads from her college as her sampling frame. So hers doesn't look like this necessarily. Hers kind of looks like this. And then her sampling frame is a smaller circle within that, right? But that was a mean, like a thing that she could actually get. If you've done the discussion board or the, it's not discussion board, it's the knowledge check for week one, you can think about the Literary Digest poll, right? They wanted to know about voters, so for their sampling frame, they went with everybody with a telephone, right? So again, sort of the same idea where this is everybody and then this is everyone with a telephone. All right, then you take your sample, which again may or may not completely overlap with your population, but you're going to get a group within that thing, which is the 250 people. She sent questionnaires and then she had some non-response within that. But that's the idea. So there's kind of this step down where you start with the biggest group. You go, okay, that's unmanageable and unwieldy. I can't get a group of all college students. Let me look at my college only. Okay, uh, now let me take a sample of that because that's still huge. And now let me look at my data. So that's the idea of sampling. Uh, the next video, I'm going to break down some of those sampling methods.